let's start planting up these containers and I want to show you guys the beautiful plants that's going in and we'll go and get the rest of the plants First up, macrophylla hydrangeas is going to definitely bring the spring vibes that I really love to have in my garden. They're beautiful and they have those beautiful hues of purple. We have our daffodils and these are the tete a tete variety so they grow on the smaller side. So even though they make a big impact in color, they're small in stature. Then we have some beautiful violas. Let's see if we can see what variety this is. So this is focus penny pimrose picotty put that back in there for reference we have our beautiful pansies here this variety right here is one of my favorites it is the matrix primrose pansy the soft beautiful yellow color that i just love in my garden we have our classic white pansy beautiful and it has the yellow inside and this is a matrix white pansy. Right, Alyssum. We have a Dusty Miller. You guys, I love to use my good friend Dusty Miller here. We also have a another light blue matrix pansy. We have some beautiful daffodils. Now the daffodils that are back here in these planters over here they have actually been here since we planted them up in the video earlier here on the channel this was our transitional color it took us from the winter time into the early spring came in we completely dismantled our winter arrangement here we left our burst long and then we popped a daffodil inside of these planters where they went through some horrid temperatures some frigid temperatures outside and they still did okay we underdressed the bottom of these containers with some moss to one help keep the roots of the daffodil warm and then also just to dress it up and we wanted it to be simple and elegant now that I have my hydrangeas gone if I didn't put anything in its place the daffodils these are basically getting ready to go over because they have been in bloom for quite some time and they have been absolutely wonderful the burst logs have to go because they have been out here for two seasons so they were out here for winter and then it took us in our transitional so we're definitely not going to bring them into our spring display although it would be absolutely gorgeous to keep them inside of this container you know what we're gonna leave that alone because i was getting ready to give you another container recipe but i'm gonna leave it alone honey that's for another video so let's pull these out and then we'll start planting everything up because i am so excited for you guys to see how this is going to look and i think you're going to love what we're getting ready to do in this area you know what why am i cleaning out these containers when all i really have to do is bring in a remote where's my remote well all right okay now that is how you clean out some containers now the only thing we need the remote to do is plant these containers up hold on something must be wrong with the battery you know what and i'm fresh out of battery so i guess this time i'm going to have to plant these containers up myself so let's get to it We're going to come back in with a daffodil. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Worries? Now, what we do on one side, we're also going to do on the next.
Full disclosure, these arrangements are absolutely stunning. It's exactly what I pictured they were gonna be in my mind. They're gorgeous. Now, let's talk a little bit about how I'm able to come out here. You have arrangements that's outside and your temperatures are flexing. So, for example, the daffodils. We planted those up in the early season. Those daffodils stayed outside when it dropped down into the 20s, dropped below the 20s, and they did absolutely fine because I knew the hardiness for those daffodils were negative 30. So I was not afraid to put them out here. I didn't give them any protection because they had been hardened off. They had experienced temperature fluctuations prior to me planting them up. I kept the root ball warm when I went in with the moss. Now, these containers here, they don't have any moss around them. So they're gonna be depending on me, proper watering, because when you have the wind that blows your plants, it dries your plants out. So in order for your plants to actually survive when you're planting them up before your frost date, you have to be prepared to provide them with protection. I can come in and I can go ahead and cover this with some agricultural fleece, agabon, whatever have you. If you don't have access to that, I've used sheets, I've used blankets when I've had a beautiful display and I did not want to lose my show. I have literally come out and I have put big, heavy, big comforter sets for my azalea over there on the side of the house because it gives a beautiful display. So versus my show being gone in an instant, I would rather come outside, sacrifice the comforter. I know, I know, I know. Put the comforter outside and next morning i would come outside and i would swiftly remove the comforter off of the azalea because you guys it gives such a beautiful display so the same thing with these beauties now it is supposed to drop down so i'll be making sure i'll come outside before it gets dark and i'll cover these up and i'll continue to have a beautiful show now you guys we are certainly gearing up over here on garden queen Springtime is one of my favorite times to garden. And I say that all the time with every season that comes about. I always say how it's my favorite season. But in all actuality, I love them all, including the winter. Now, I don't like to drive in the winter, but I definitely love to get out there and do winter containers because that's really when you can really go over the top with your winter containers because, you know, it's no rules there. Now, you guys, Let's talk about the components of these containers. And yes, 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 your girl got some hydrangeas already in bloom in March. This container right here. Actually, let's go to the one over here because woo, this one over here, you can definitely see the variations of that hydrangea. You know how you have that hydrangea that has that blue, it has a chartreuse in it and then you can see those iridescent vibes of purple shining through. That's what we have here. Then I came in with two different types of daffodils. So we have our Narcissus, the traditional daffodil, and then we also have our Narcissus tete-a-tete -tete or daffodil tete-a-tete -tete here, a smaller bloom. So therefore, we're playing off the colors of the daffodil blooms here. Now, these daffodils, they're budded up and they're just slightly starting to break the bud and i love that because it's going to give us a twofer so i like to do arrangements in the sense of i look at what type of look can i get can i get a two for one type situation here our daffodil that's budded up at the top right now it's just giving us texture and we could have came in and we could have used some willow branches to give us that height in the top was not interested in doing it over here in this area because I knew for this arrangement, I wanted to draw the eye down. So someone comes up to the door, it's gonna make them stop and one, appreciate these hydrangea blooms in the early season. And it makes you stop and kind of dissect the container, especially when the daffodil comes into bloom. So I play off of those colors there and what I did was I brought the colors of all of the daffodils 
back down with my pansies here. Now we use two different types of pansy and one type of viola. So we use the white pansy. We also use a primrose pansy. And so that's like a soft yellow color. And then we came in with a viola. Now the viola is really what kind of ties everything together here. Because the viola is definitely giving us all of the colors here is represented with a viola. So we have that canary yellow, the soft yellow. We also have where you can see the blue, where the purple fades into the blue. And then you have the hint of purple, which pays homage to our hydrangea here. Absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. And then plus a difference in texture and break up all of that blue and make you stop and pay homage to the hydrangea you can definitely see the dusty miller does that it brings out the texture for sure mm -hmm. 